New tonight at 5 o'clock, tragedy at a lake leads to healing at a recreation center for a Methodist church in Kearns. Dan Rascone takes us inside the story of swimming for Noni. And Dan, what happened at the lake that spurred all this? Mark and Sean, unfortunately, a member of the pastor's church lost his life while trying to swim across a lake in Harriman. The pastor vowed never again. So he started teaching his members who can't swim how to swim. Most of what we're going to be doing today is learning to breathe. It may appear a little odd. If you're swimming faster. But this is the first day of swimming classes. Um, I'm not really buoyant. For 27-year-old Timote Homer. Just being in the deep end it scares me a lot. Timote's courage to get into the water. I did it. All has to do with what happened here at Black Ridge Reservoir in Harriman nearly one year ago. It was June 25th when 31-year-old Noni Moonga lost his life when he drowned while swimming during a church activity. Timote says it was a helpless feeling on the shoreline because no one knew how to swim. It was difficult, you know, just sitting there in the beach, just watching him struggling. We, we got to the point where he, where he was at, but we didn't have the skills to, you know, go deep. Noni was a member here at Trinity United Methodist Church in Kearns, where he was known for his beautiful voice. His death was a devastating blow to members. He's always happy. Every time at church, you know, you can hear his voice singing. Every time we walk through the halls, going inside the congregation or into the sanctuary, it's just his voice uplifted everyone at the church. Christ is risen. The pastor, Rob Brundle, decided to do something about it. He couldn't imagine losing another member. And that brings us back to the Kearns Ochre Park Fitness Center, where Pastor Rob You're there. has taken it upon himself to teach his members how to swim. Our slogan is never again. We never want to lose a person because they can't help themselves. You're going to listen for the fish? He calls it swimming for Noni. I feel like I'm accomplishing a goal of keeping my people safe. In order to be able to graduate from the six to eight week program, you must be able to jump in the water over your head, tread in the water for one minute, swim 25 yards, and get out of the pool without a ladder. But this has done more than just teach people how to swim. It has helped heal broken souls who are trying to deal with the sudden loss of a dear member. That we've turned it into something that is healing and helping us grow as a church, as a people. That makes it all worthwhile. It was good, a good workout. Especially when you see members like Timote gain confidence and overcome fears of being in the water. I think it helps me just break that, that fear. Because every time I'm in the water, I feel like I'm going to drown. From our perspective, we know Noni is happy about this. Yeah, quite an accomplishment there. The Master Swimming Association actually heard about this story of the lake tragedy and has given Pastor Brundle a grant to run the swimming program. The hope is that the people he teaches can then help others to learn how to swim. For more on this story, go to our website, KUTV.com.